I always wanted to be an actor, but I never would have like admitted it to anybody because I was like, yeah. "Oh, you're from Maine. What? Like, you can't yeah. go be an actor." My mom's a choreographer, and like, so I grew up around the theater, at least theater adjacent. Uh, and then once I did that film, I was like, "Oh, I really like this." So I secretly, when I was in Boston, I started taking uh, acting classes yeah. at like not a good place. Um, now I think about it, it was like they totally scammed the, me. The but back, the back alley behind Seven Eleven. Yep, that was it. Freddie. So, Freddie and Mikey. Yeah, they were they were very talented. Um, and then, but I wouldn't tell anybody because I was like embarrassed. And then I finally like came clean that I was like, I'm going to uh, tell you guys something. I'm taking uh, acting classes. And they were like, oh, that makes sense. And then that's, but that was why I was like, I could do this. And then I found like a program through my school where I could go live in LA and intern. But that yeah. was that was like what set it in motion because I had so much fun. It's funny you mentioned that because I think a lot of people go through that. I know I did because yeah. when I moved to L.A., I was doing production. And um, our my roommate, our mutual friend Matt Hurley, was doing just acting. And one day, I remember he came out. I think we were all like smoking weed or something and mm-hmm. watching a movie. Right. And he came out and, he, and we were talking about production, my roommate Jacob and I. And he looks at us and he goes, I don't know how the hell you guys can get excited about that. And at this time, I secretly did want to act. I just yeah. wasn't willing to mention to anybody. And I wanted to turn to him and go... Well, I want to act too. Like it's not just production I like. Yeah. And it took me. I think I worked production when when I was in school. I worked at Jimmy Kimmel Live and Ellen DeGeneres while I was mm-hmm. in school. So a few years of, of talk shows and reality. Then Extreme Makeover for you. Mm-hmm. It took honestly till moving to Brooklyn that I mm-hmm. finally was like, because it was a new city and a new yeah. fresh start. And I said, you know what? It's fine. I feel comfortable finally saying I'm going to do it. I'm going to go audition. And it's it's interesting that people have that. Um, phobia of admitting you want to be an actor or actress because there's like, so much judgment. People, oh really? You want you think you're so cool or you want like, to be famous? Such That's a like... hard thing to achieve. But like it, most things in the entertainment industry are hard to achieve. Oh yeah, no, it's I didn't. I didn't easy. mean to say it's harder to be an actress than it is to work. But it's no, equally as hard. No, but that's the that's the perception. And I mean, I guess it's just more the general public doesn't care as much about any other yeah. like. Uh, job within the industry. I mean, maybe like they know directors, maybe they yeah. know like the biggest produ- who the biggest producers are, but that's who you see. So it seems like such an unrealistic like goal. Like, oh, you want to be an actor? Yeah. And, like, well, also I think just the vanity of it. Like, yeah. if you, when you look at a director or producer, they're considered an artist. They kind of yeah. get the, not not the same level of respect as like an author or mm. a painter or something, but they have respect. Yeah. When you tell somebody, oh, I'm out in L.A., I want to be an actress. What's the first thing they say? Like, oh, what restaurant do you work at? Yeah. Or you know, like until you make it. Yeah. And then they're like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, none of us are curing cancer, but what we do yeah. is important. No, it's, it's super important. Yeah. I, I was talking to my dad about that. Like I said, I was pre-med at first because my dad's a chiropractor. He wanted me to go into medicine, which both my brother and sister did, a whole family of, of healers, they call mm-hmm. themselves. And I got an argument with one with him one day where I said, you know, healthcare wouldn't matter if there wasn't the arts. And he was like, well, what do you mean? And I was like, well, what, what's the point of life if there's not the arts? Like, if there's no books, music, mm. movies, um, a- actors and actresses, all that stuff, it does matter. And it's funny that people look down at, on it. Through their quality, like, it's a quality. It's yeah, a quality like, of life. Pe- people will rant and rave about how important reading is, mm-hmm. right? I have, the, I have this one friend, I won't mention his name, I'll get really mad, but he just all the time harps on how... He knows, he, though. He, he knows, knows who he is. is and, yeah. Yeah. And, and he'll go on and on about novels. I'm like, you realize a novel is just a form of entertainment. It's the same thing as if yeah. you went and watched movies for a few hours, but you're just reading for a few hours. Yeah. It's just a different way just to take in... To consume it. An, yeah, an experience. Consume art. And so it just it bothers me sometimes that we don't get the same level of respect to other industries. Well, yeah, there's no right way to consume art. I mean... You just watched a segment of the show, Chasms of the Mind. To see the full episode, click the link below.